Hi everyone, I'm back. Oh, I hope this don't show yellow. Baby. So, baby so here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I saw some... Why is it blue? I'm sorry, the light is really weird in here. So, whatever. So, um, I hope it clears up really quickly. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with it. So, mom on her page has said, oh, my baby's not walking yet. My baby's 10 months, 11 months, 12 months, 13 months, 14 months, 15 months, 16 months. What's wrong with my baby? How come your baby walks at eight and a half months and not my baby? Well, my niece actually walked at 14 months, which is completely fine. It's just that she wasn't ready to walk. That's all. So that's Leah. <laughs> um, so she, you know, oh, there you go. So she's been not even as much as trying to crawl. Not nothing. Not a no. Sit, that nothing. But it's okay because I know that she will crawl. If not, she will just go straight into walking. It's just a matter of when she's ready to do it. Um, what else? Um, so I did her speech. I did her fine motor. No, I did her growth motor. I didn't do her fine motor because is that Auntie phone? Can I see? I don't think this is Auntie's phone. This is Auntie's phone. Thank you, Naomi. You're welcome, babe. So, fine. Yeah, her growth motor, fine motor skills is fine. Um, I actually tested it the other day because I put some Cheerios in front of her. And I know she's not, she can't even eat Cheerios yet, but I put it in front of her anyways. Um, she took her, 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 no, put it back, put it back, Naomi, put it back, one, two, thank you, good job. Now, please put the other one back. Thank you. And put the bag back. Thank you. Great listener. Thank you. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. I'm blue. I love you. Blue. Blue, okay. <laughs> so, oh. Uh, Green. Kisses. So, yeah, I put the chairs in front of her anyways, and she, she picked it up like that. Um, I think that's about it for her update, or I don't, that's about it, or I'm really tired. Um, I think that's it, though. No, you don't need it. That's not yours. That's not yours. No. <laughs> My name is so cute. Um, when she turned two, we got rid of her pacifier. So now, whenever she sees Leah with her pacifier, she she wants it really badly. Sometimes we find her and it's in her mouth, and we have to take it away from her. What do I do? What what do we do about that? What should we do when we see her with her with my niece's my daughter's pacifier in her mouth? I mean, what, all we can do is take it away from her and tell her no pacifiers are for little babies and not not big girls. But if you guys have an idea, if you I'm pretty sure there are some mommies out there with babies who they had to actually go cold turkey on the pacifier with, and then you come back and you have another baby. And they saw, they see, sorry, they see that they with the pacifier. What do you do when they pick it up and they start, um, they put it in your mouth? What do you do? So, any advice would be appreciated. So, um, I think that's it for her update. Um, yeah, and I want to do this, this, um, I think that's it. So, yeah, her sleeping pattern, 
or she goes to bed anywhere between 9.30 and 10, wakes up at 5 to 6, between 5 to 6 a.m. every morning, which is completely fine for me because i got to be out of the house at 7 anyway. So, cool, awesome. Um, so, I do have to do this really important video about um, misconceptions of first-time moms or misconceptions of motherhood. Um, I do believe that is a very important video and I do believe that it's gonna get on some mom's nerves whereas it would strike a nerve, you know, it would strike a nerve whereas some moms are gonna applaud for, you know, yeah, hell yeah, this is how I feel. Not a lot of moms talk about it, but you know what, thank you for talking about it. So. I am going to talk about the misconceptions of motherhood. Um, I know it's a topic that not a lot of people talk about. Not a lot of people want to talk about it. Because I feel like if you talk about it, there's something wrong with you. Or if you feel that way, there's something wrong with you. But that's not how, that's not how it goes. That's how people make it feel. Make you feel. But that's really not how it is. So, um, I look forward like to that video. Because for her talk diapering video. And some other videos so thank you again for subscribing thank you for watching thank you again for being so patient with my videos um i'll talk to you guys later youtube you're the best my fans my subscribers are the best please if you have not subscribed please subscribe and i'll talk to you guys again soon god bless